Okay. Um, we'll begin our meeting with a word of prayer. Let's all join. Father, we want to thank you for a day that you've given to us, for all your blessings. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to meet together tonight to carry on the business for the city of Hartford. We ask for your guidance mm -hmm. that we might uh, make decisions that would be the benefit uh, for for our citizenry and mm -hmm. Father, we just pray that everything we do and say honors you. So we ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, first thing we've got is uh, visitors. Uh, I'm going to recognize Jay. Jay, you want to? Hello. Hello, Mayor Bell. Yeah. We've just now did our prayer. Oh, okay. Right. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, Jay, you want to make your presentation? I'll let him go first so that he can get an early start on going home if he wants to. All right, so do you want to talk about what we did earlier today or do you want to talk about our solution? Which one well, do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the small tank issues that we've got. You want to talk about the small tank first? Yeah. All right. You want to talk about the small tank a little bit? Okay, uh, we have a 125,000 gallon tank up here on Fred. Just the tail the tank. It hasn't been inspected, or hasn't had any repairs done in many years. We don't even know the last time it was worked on, exactly. They, uh, here a couple weeks back, we had a uh, leak starting to spring up around the wells. We've got rust coming down the side of the, the riser pipe coming down from the ground. Uh, has a lot of rust issues. Uh, it doesn't need a lot of repairs. Okay. Well, you broke. Have problem with the valve. Whatever. We had a valve that broke that went to the tank. We actually had to shut the main down to cut that valve out. And that's when we had the pressure issue. We had to do the boil water. All right, so my name's Shay Hoffman. I am not the tank painter. I am not the guy who fixes the tanks. I'm not the guy who digs a hole or any of that stuff. I'm the consultant. I've done this for close to 30 years, so I've worked for practically every water company around here. So, you know, I, I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to tanks. So Chris called and said, hey, man, they got, you know, hey, tanks leaking. I said, okay, fine. So we actually, the contractor that I wanted to fix it, on that Monday that it got fixed, we were sterilizing the, the million-gallon tank in Central City. We went and did that, came right here and, and welded it up and got it. If you had broke about it. Yeah, we had broke about it. <laughs> <laughs> If the valve had not broken, you would have got water back in it very quickly. So that's why I was out a little bit. So there was also a little, I think there was a little leak, a little, little water leak around the tank that's been taken care of now too. They, they fixed that. So I actually looked at the tank pretty good. Uh, the tank is in need of repair. Uh, since we were going to do something with the other tank, I wanted to do, I wanted to strengthen this tank so that we don't have an issue with, with with this going down and having that down at the same time. Because I can tell you, I know Ohio County can't feed you more than a few days. Right. Even if it's, you know, fall, winter, whatever, they can't feed you that long. So I wanted to strengthen this. I know what it's, it's got, it's got more leaks in it right now. They're just not pop through. It's going to happen. And so I would like to have the tank. I'd like to have, I'd like to put it out for bids immediately. Uh, I mean, the bad thing is, is it's summer. Everybody's up to here and been working. And you know it is what it is. I can't control that. Uh, I mean, I can put it out. I got a bunch of very competent contractors that bid on my projects. The screwballs don't usually bid on my stuff because they don't want to follow my documents and they don't want to deal with my inspectors. And so uh, I could get it in the paper very quickly. You know, we charge a fee based on whatever it costs to do that. I mean, that that little tank, it's 120,000 gallons. I mean, they should be able to flash and paint that tank for under 100. And so. I would really like to do, I would also like to, put, I really would like to put a mixing system in that tank because it's not going to do anything but help you, you know, later down the road, which is kind of a segue into the big tank. <laughs> so uh, you can't, I mean, mixing system valves, you can't get valves for 12 weeks. So I, I don't know how in depth you want me to get into and how, how this works and all that type of stuff, but maybe you ought to talk about our bids. Okay, so we, we actually today. took some bids today for fundamentally changing the complete design of that tank. 
which you know we didn't really know exactly how much that would cost but we kind of thought you know i thought it might it would probably be more than doing something else well it was it was quite high <laughs> yeah 1.275 million okay so to build a brand new 400,000 gallon elevated tank is about 2.6 million right now that's a brand new and you already have a spot to put it. that's not having to buy land that's not having to run lines that's nothing that's a, a brand new two or four hundred thousand gallon tank is 2.6 million dollars ish today now if the steel goes up even more tomorrow who knows uh, I don't think you need a brand new elevated tank I think that I can mix this tank the way that it should be I mean I, I have a model I have a couple models that I had run today I think that I can mix this tank for, for a, about a tenth of that money well about a, a fifth of that money uh, which is a mixing system which we would put in that tank and so I don't know how much you really want me to get into how that works but most tanks fill they fill and they go in and out in one pipe so you know whatever goes in goes out first in first out and so if you have a couple degrees of temperature change all the cold water sits here you don't utilize the whole thing I think everybody knows that that million gallon tank is way too big so the big thing is is how do we keep water quality up inside that tank mixing systems are one way to do that I put hundreds of these in I've had I've designed and put hundreds of these things in all over the state they're all around you I mean the Ohio, Ohio County's got them Centertown's got them Owensboro's got them Madisonville's got them they're all over the place around here uh, so I would like to I would like to to, to put to 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 design this design project to put a mixing system in that tank as well in the big tank and you know well, there's two or three things we can do we can leave it as a million we we know we can mix it as a million you don't really have to have a million you don't use that much and we and there are there are things I can design into that so if we want to decide if, if you know a year down the road he decides I don't really need a million I can do 800 I can make them to go in and change the level of the valves relatively easily with very little expense and you're, you're not spending as much time and money to make water because you're not using chemicals you're not spending as much time making water so I mean you, that's something that if we get you if we get you pretty decent water you can kind of play with that and go okay we don't need a million we, we can do eight we can do six maybe five go ahead it's late in the day so make sure I'm we're not talking about the little tank we're talking about the big we're talking about the big tank that so we've I, already I've talked already, about the floor already gotten past the little tank okay so <laughs> we're we're back to now rechanging our we're whole theory to, on the big to tank plan yes. B. okay we that's what i'm trying to keep up <laughs> I, I should have i should have said that so okay. yes so yeah i i kind of i went very i went very quick so okay. 1.275 to to do a complete rework of the tank and turn it into an elevated tank more or less the, the million gallon the million gallon okay. we're not willing to i'm not willing to even i don't want you to spend that money now if you had it i would tell you not to spend that money because it's way too much uh so the alternative is let's try and let's do a mixing system i've had great success with these and so i mean i've mixed i mix everything from all the way up to a five million gallon tank have we not already talked about a mixing system? Yeah, I thought. We've got a mixer in there, but it's not very that efficient. That ain't the same. It's, it's not it's the same. You have okay. a trolling motor right there. Okay. This is not the same thing. Same page now. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have a solar-powered trolling motor in there right now. So that's not, that's not, I, I, this, these, the system that I, that I, I don't sell this system. I specify this system because I know that it works. I have used this system for over 20 years in tanks everything from little bitty tanks to five million gallon tanks and it works like a chunk and so uh, it, this will have to be this big tank will have to be bitted out too right yes it will absolutely okay so, so I want to make the motion that we take bids two separate uh, motions that we start the bidding process on the small tank engage his services engage his services to Okay. And then on the big tank, the same as well. I could actually do that as one project. Can you? I can't. I could do it for paint that one, put mixing systems in okay. both because we can't get valves for 12 weeks anyway. Okay. So I can do it as one project because if I do it as one project, I didn't you, know if it needed to be. No, okay. you can pay. You'll pay me one fee to do that. Okay. If I do it as two, you'll pay me two fees to, okay. to write documents so twice, and I have to put it in a paper twice. Just put one motion on. <laughs> I'm already saving. It. I appreciate you. Let me have your diagram. Yes, sir. Go ahead. The small tank is on Frederica Street, Maribel. 
Fredica. There's the car tank. We've already got this pipe. They would do as they would do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have <laughs> tanks that sit right next to each other in a dare and I tried and tried to get the mayor to let me put hot and cold on me. It would fill up, comes through here. So it comes and so the water that's coming in does the mixing. Yes. Like, well, my, like my shower bath. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand. It, the water coming in does if mix you, uh, it. So one by the cemetery is a big size. Where Once you one get here, this, uh, one here out there advertised. mixes the whole tank. Um, it's not just one valve, it's actually if like we put three a valves. On it, I'd like, like to have a special call meeting. The there will be a deadline. So what yeah. will happen when is. the deadline be on that? Yeah. And then your, your outlet valve is down here. And that's where we go. I got my shoes on. I don't have a counter. So, so I'm, I'm not that smart, man. Water. I got to look at the counter. Yeah. Gotcha. Get it. All right. So your paper comes out on Wednesday, which is the third next month, right? They that's like right? it Monday by two. I'll yeah, that's right. okay. I can write a. I can write an ad in about <laughs> 20 minutes. So if it came out on the third, I'd have actually have another project coming out on the third already. Or no. I have a meeting. So I have, if I get it in the paper next next Thursday or next Wednesday, we will have one. But that we have to open bids by the 23rd. Okay. I can't do it any faster than 7. I can't do it any longer than 21. I can squeeze it in so there. So we can have all that ready by the meeting on the 25th. Uh, actually, I would probably have bids open by then. I'd be very close to having bids open. So that'll by then. work out just about right. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a chance I could if I it, unless something happens and I don't get any paper till the tenth. Okay. But yes, I could be very close to it. You can't get valves. I mean, the little tank I want to get painted as quickly as possible, and that we'll just have to squeeze. Do I have to make somebody? Can we put in? George's picture on the outside it? of it? If that's what you want. <laughs> Where do you want the spare tire? I'll just, I'll just put, <laughs> put hot or cold on. Yeah. Um, I, on the, okay, you've got a bad rust spot on there. How's that going to be fixed? Or, well, that's a hole. Yeah. Yeah. When they blast it, you're going to have you're going to have a hole about like that. Yeah. They'll have to weld all that up. They have to do it my way. They'll have to weld all of it up. They're going to blow a bunch of holes in this tank before it's said and done with. And so I have provisions in my documents. For unknown repairs because yeah. I don't know how many holes they're going to blow they're going to blow holes I know they are and that way they can't hold me hostage and say well you know we're here we can fix that hole it's only $500 yeah. it's like yeah. now yeah. let's go back over here to the playbook where you told me it was going to be $50 to fix a pit so yeah. I, I control a lot of how that happens I, I'm not a change order kind of guy I hate change orders they make me look bad uh, you know they might get one little one occasionally but they don't get them by tens of thousands of dollars and we're not this is not painting the tank at all right. this time it's just, just the inside inside, the inside. and, and mean, repaired we're back on the million now oh I'm back are, on. Are you on the little? I'm on the little. The out, on the little one, I want to do the inside only. I don't care yeah. about the outside right now. Yeah. So. And repair the outside hole. You can deal with the outside. I mean, well, that hole is only inside. Oh, it it's is. It's leaking through to the outside. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so all of those things will be repaired. Yeah. Whatever they weld up, because if we end up putting a mixing system in, they'll put a pipe in it also. Yeah. And so there'll be they will weld and you, they'll burn the paint off that riser. So we'll have all that taken care of. I mean. I'm doing that because I mean I just want to get the interior fixed right now. Yeah. In a few years, then we probably should revisit the outside. But interior is very important because it's going to. We get another good hard winter. You're going to start squirting water, I think. Plus, it helps strengthen the system all the way around. Right. So, big tank. When they put the mixing system in, they got to weld and put all that stuff in there. And yes, they'll burn off some of that paint. That's okay. They just grind it off and they color match that as close as possible, and away we go. Yeah. So. If somebody ask, wants to ask a question about a mixing system and how it works, ask me because I can tell you explicitly. I, I know these things backwards and forwards. <laughs> water moves more water. You can show, you can show pictures of them. Yeah, well, yeah, I can show you a lot. I can show you videos of, of, of how they work and all that kind of stuff in here if you really want to see them. But uh, if that's the case, I will sign sign the little contract I have with him and I will work. I'll start working on. I'll write it. What is tomorrow? Friday. Yes, Friday. Uh, I'll write an ad tomorrow. What paper are you using here? Well, Times County, News. What is it? High County News. Times News. Times News. 
<laughs> I'm sure I'm, I can guarantee you that I have it in my in my computer because I've I've done the old Howe County stuff. You know, when I put out their tanks for bids, it, I'm sure it went. So it'll go. It'll be in the paper. I'll, I will do everything I can to try to get it in the paper next Wednesday. All right, we've got a motion on the floor for a second. Awesome. Okay, any discussion regarding what you've heard? Appreciate you trying to save us a dollar. So we're taking bids on the small tank and the large tank. All together. Both of them. All together. Yeah, on As one project. As a total project. Yes, it'll be a total project. What I'm going to, what I will do is after we bid, as soon as we get the thing bid, we will, I will want the city to order valves. I took valves away from contractors because they tend to wait around and try to order them when they come work and their valves are 12 weeks out. So we just order valves immediately. Now, I mean, it's just, I guess that's the new normal. I don't know. It's just that, that this, some of this stuff is driving me crazy. Here. So, gotcha. Any more discussion or questions? All in favor, lift your hand, motion. Motion is carried. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it. I have a question. You got a question? Okay. I, I missed out on his name. Oh, my name is Jay Hoffman. J A Y Hoffman. You're vice president. What's your name? Who's the president of your company? I am. Actually, my wife is. Vice president? My wife is. I'm vice president. Okay. Yep. She's the admiral and I'm the captain. <laughs> Uh, okay. okay. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it. All right. The other visitors, ladies. No, you just want to partake of the democratic process. Bless your heart. Have hey, you got anything for us? Sergeant Arms. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the crowd control. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got you all on the agenda, so. Mary Bell says, what was that? What is it? Okay. Right here. Oh yeah, no, I've got a copy where he's changed it. Okay. He's changed it. Yeah, I've got a copy that's been corrected. You know me. Well, I, that's the first thing I brought to his attention because I know you. Okay. All right. Um, we'll hear the reading or discuss the minutes of the previous meetings that you have in your packet there, the June 23rd meeting, once you've looked over those, I'll entertain a motion to accept those minutes. I'll make a motion and we accept the minutes. All right, thank you. Is there a second? Second. All right, any discussion regarding the minutes? All in favor of accepting them? Thank you. Motion's carried. All right, we'll go to our financial reports. Do you have any questions about the finances? The HARPA funds are in the general fund, right? Okay. Any question about any of the financial reports? All right. Is there a second? Any discussion? All in favor of accepting the financials? Thank you. All right. City Attorney. I don't have anything no, to nothing? Right now. No. <laughs> okay. I'm happy to be back over my illness. Well, happy to see you back. You've been so busy. Nobody. Question for what about all these abandoned properties? I have discussed with the mayor. I don't want to discuss active litigation, but we have discussed where we're at on that. We'll fill you in. We're waiting until things fall in place. It's kind of a domino's effect. We have to. That seems kind of like got trees growing. Oh yeah. You were out for a while. I guess you've been away or training or some sort. But uh, last time you were in, before you left, we talked about getting together. So now that if you're back now, if you yeah. want to come back with me, we can discuss some of those that you had questions on too. Okay. I think that'll help 
I think between the two, I think well, that'll get a lot of it cleared up. Okay. Uh, if there's nothing else then for Tara, um, I went ahead and did the finances before I did you, pardon me. That's okay. Sorry. Uh, we'll take a look at old business uh, for now. Uh, first thing is ditch work uh, on uh, on Stratton's property. Um, the situation is, you know, that we've offered to to help on it, uh, but uh, are y'all still reluctant about taking the? situation where we pay half, you pay half, or for the ditch work? Well, we, we can't pay half. There's a, the, the quote that we originally got, we were we could afford that, but the quote that you received, right. we can't afford right. that. Well, I don't think that uh, we can put anything any less in there, you know, to be... Uh, Try to accommodate what's above the ditch where you are, you know, with the the pipes that are up there. I want to uh, I want to revisit that. I and I know that you got to have your pipes and then your your uh, what is it your. There has to be a collector up at the very and, yeah. end of it there because there's On about four side. pipes coming in. And what did Forrest suggest on that, Paul? Um, he was wanting to reduce it down the size from the tile that's in there and basically shove that in. Is that correct? Yes, the, the, the size of the tile that's the four tiles, if you combine them, I don't know what the actual diameter is if you combine them all. Um, I, I don't have that figure, but what he's looking at is possibly getting something that would uh, encompass all four because they're they're spread out, and then be able to bring it into a one and go in through the tiles that are already there, so we could use those. We would have to excavate the two driveways that were over it. You can't choke him down, Paul. Can't be no smaller than what they are, they need to be bigger. Well, I understand. You know, all that understand. rain that comes down through there? It won't take the water now. Well, I mean, I understand that too. I know, but you can't. Why choke them down if you understand it, you know? Well, I see your point. But if the city had done the, the towels instead of converging all the that upper city into one, into that ditch, it would have been done better. Well, sure it would, would, but that's back before our time. I'm sorry? That was back before our, ti our time. I understand that fully. Yeah. Like, I, I brought this up previously, but I'm not, I'm not condemning anybody here when I say the city. This is before everybody's time. But if I know the situation that was going to be when I bought the house, of course it wasn't flooding at the time, I would, I would have possibly reconsidered purchasing the property. Now, thankfully, we had a storm this past week. I got uh, photos of where the water has backed up into our yard. It's backed up under my house. Yeah, it's, it does. floods me out. Too, so. Flood them out. But the, the thing that I've come to realize, Paul, is uh, the city government could not possibly purchase any tiles of such um, for private property. And I know that these these tiles that we put in years ago, but that's that's basically our easement on the right on the right of way for the roads. But we cannot purchase off for private property because that that would be starting something in, in you know, general for everybody. Else. There, you? Yeah, I think the general um, the general thing that the city has always done, which coincides because it helps maintain our road easements is any time that someone has a ditching issue or a new driveway access issue that requires a tile, we ask the landowner to purchase a tile and the city does all the labor, but that's within a city easement area to help control the water carry. 
and it's hard for the city to justify using public funds on private property for the benefit of a, a benefit of a private landowner. Um, I don't really, I, I mean, I was absent at the last meeting, I guess, where this was brought up, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but I wanted to kind of clarify that issue. If so basically, he's got two big ditches that's in his backyard, and he's wanting to tile, the, tile all of that section in. He got a quote from Southern States, and then I guess Jason got another quote for the existing stuff that needs to go in there to fix, like it has to be, instead of like shoving another smaller tile into the existing. To just basically, he, they wanted to shove a tile all the way through it and choke it down for the most part. And the water, I've been there 20 years, the water used to get up, but it wasn't bad. And when they built the bank down there and tiled that, the tile's too little. Now the water really backs up. So this is back here? Uh, new Citizens Bank. The New Citizens Bank. Yeah, okay. Got a post and this is a ditch along the back side. How many houses are affected here? Well, uh, if you count uh, Mr. Renfro's, he's on the facing door, he's on the left side of me. And then I own the property here and the next one. And then uh, um, he owns the, that the property Perk? next uh, on the other side. Western. 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 Okay. You know where he lives? Yeah, but I'm a little turned around, but I think I got it where I'm at now. You know where, the, the, what's that street that crosses off of Western right there um, in front of you? Charlotte. Charlotte? Okay, now I know, okay, now I know where you're at. Okay, yeah. My, my point was, is that if the city had done the towel right in the first place, it wouldn't have been an issue. And whereas they, uh, on the other side of the street, they ran a tile underneath the street, instead of tying it into the current tile, they just ran it uh, parallel to it. And there's two other ones that are parallel to it. So instead of tying it in there and having one tile, you got one tile, two, and another one. So it's spread out in an oval shape type. Okay. And then they're trying to get one big enough to encompass all of it. If you that's that's going to be huge. If you'll humor me, Paul, can you can we table this? Maybe Bo can take me out and, and yeah. show me a little bit more what you're talking about. Yeah, that's fine. And we can kind of see what's happened in the past and get an idea of what's going on. Yeah, because <coughs> if anything, I mean, on our end, we can change out the tiles that's there now. I mean, that would be a big help. So I mean, that's something that we can look at too, because I know it is an issue down there. I see it so. And it was also, if it starts to uh, damaging our, my neighbor's yards, then it's going to be an insurance issue. So basically, we could do that. I'd like to kind of put my eyes on, yeah. make sure I understand exactly yeah. what the situation is, and, and we that can work. We look at it, and if that'll help, and then that process, basically, if we done that and went to a bigger tile, then you could possibly go maybe with a tile and put that end cap in there. Me. Are you gonna do that no. every other part of the city? Of this is well, that's what here. I'm getting at too, Mary Bell. This it's a catch is 22. Uh, yeah. uh, Renfro's house. This is Mr. Wright's house. Mm -hmm. My property's here. Mm -hmm. Right through here is here, and this goes from uh, Western all the way up to Kirk Street. So it's going from all the way across my yard going up. It's along the backside. Yes, it's the backside. Uh, this is Western, and it's coming all the way up to Kirk Street. Let me get with Bo, and he and I. Oh, and, and I know you have a water issue. Unfortunately, that whole area over there yeah, is bad. Yeah. It'll go through your whole There's garage. a huge, huge watershed yeah. that feeds that ditch. Maybe you and I can kind of figure out where the bearings are and, and see what exists from a city right away standpoint. Yeah, I mean, if it's on us, I I wouldn't be opposed to fixing the problem. But it wasn't that bad until the bank was built down. And then that may be something we have to address. So we just have to make so sure we just that need we're to find out. doing what we're doing. I think there's a little bit more due diligence to do. purchasing In the tile. Yard is trees. Now, I fully understand yeah, that the bank. I'm not the water anybody the special. Well, they, not, and they added dirt, I'm sure. That's mm -hmm. But the water would get up to the trees. And after the bank and the new tile down there, it gets come up to the house. Okay. Let's look at it. We'll, uh, we'll, so we'll table it. We'll try to address the problem. 
Yeah, okay. We'll table it until next meeting. I'm, I'm not trying to ask for any special favors we by all no means on this. Um, we know that. We're just, so, we're just limited on what the city can do and where you can enter and, right. and what rights you can do. So I want to get with Bo and find out exactly what are the bearings because there's there may be something that can be done. If we can fix it, we want to fix it. But instead of a, and also instead of just doing a small solution, there may be a better, bigger solution. Yeah. So that, that would, I would appreciate that. And, and I understand if the tile that gets smaller might back it further up, but I understand it might flood elsewhere, but it's flooding me. And then again, I'm as equal as they are. But you also have to understand the city can't partake in anything that's also going to harm five other people at the same time. So. Thank you. All right. The uh, next item is uh, alleyways. Uh, we had this last meeting, but I didn't have the diagram because uh, the diagram was being held captive uh, by an absentee attorney. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am very sorry. I can uh, it's, the next, bad it's the next to back page in your in your packet. <clears throat> okay, this is what I tried to explain last time. I didn't have very good <laughs> luck getting everybody's. Uh, I uh, it's not turned around on it. Okay, if you start up the top, you see Phillips Street right there thomas street um that curvers where miss mm. miss sylvia used to live right and those of you that are old time Hartford residents you remember miss sylvia anyway phillips street we closed the end of thomas street there after it passes phillips we closed that and deeded half and half okay well, what brick house sitting up on the bank right what? You got brick house sitting up on the bank? No. You know where the old slaughterhouse used to be? Well, yeah, but that's what, that's here. up at the top. Up at the top's where I am right now. He's right up here. So the yeah. city closed to this area because that street was never finished and never went all the way through. Yeah. Okay. Now, now Phillips Street, this it quits right there in that curve. Now the it actually goes on. There's an alleyway, is what it is. It used to run beside. Well, I think part of the slaughterhouse was on that, but I. But anyway, it ran right beside there. Okay. It's closed. Now what he, what the deckers own is above that. You see the J up there. Yes. Okay, they own that property. The property down, well, they own the H down here. They're heirs to the J. So what they're trying to do is to get us to close that alleyway so that they would have one contiguous piece of property. All right. If you'll notice where the H is, there's an alleyway there. It's much like the alleyways that we've closed over here between Smith and, and Thomas. All right. That's an alleyway that's in the middle of all their property. So they're asking for those two alleyways to be closed. And then this alley over here on the right hand side, it says Simmerman Street. That's is not it's not uh used, alright? So they're asking that be closed and be divided between them and the owners on the other side of the street. So where is the Simmerman Street? It's, uh, it runs parallel to Thomas, but it's, uh, it's between Taylor and the other part of Phillips Street. Yeah, I don't know that now. If you go up, it just right. concurs. Yeah. It says the Callaways own that property there on the right side of Simmerman. Okay. Now the other part, the other dark part around there is the surveyor's uh, way of telling us that the streets aren't where they're supposed to be. That's that's not of any concern. The, the part, the dark part next to Thomas Street 
and the dark part next to Taylor Avenue. Those are of no concern here. All he's interested in is closing Phillips Avenue up there, Phillips, that Phillips Alley, closing the alleyway down through the middle of his property, and then closing the alley part of Zimmerman Street there and dividing it like we normally do half and half. Now, does everybody understand what we're talking about here, what his request yeah, is? I got it now. Okay. Everybody? Yes. So, what's your pleasure? We're never going to do nothing with it, are we? No. Well, ain't, no nothing, ain't nothing to do anything with it. No. I, I guess my concern is generally to do this, you have to get consent of all property, all adjacent property owners. Right. This says heirs. Do we definitively know who all these heirs are? Yes. It's uh, his wife is one of the heirs and then she, she's got a brother I believe that's only heirs really for Dottie okay so Dorothy Dicker. Dicker. okay yeah Will anybody's property be cut off no or me the access no it's all his property he owns everything around there so who will have to do the paperwork on us <laughs> then I think we should make them pay for that I'm sure. I'm sure he'd be glad to so just I'll to get it settled. That. There'll also be, you know, it'll have to be by ordinance, which will also have to be published in the paper, so yeah. and recorded. So, so there are going to be some additional costs. On there. So I think that would be. I mean, at least it's fire. Yeah. yeah. So I think we should do that. Do I have a motion to that effect? Then make make the motion. Okay. Second. All right. Second. All right. At least we'll have a guideline to follow. Yep. Okay. Any more discussion to it? No. All in favor of that? Okay. Right. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go to a new business now. Um, we'll move check signers down to the bottom. Uh, Lagoon Invoice. The lagoons that we're talking about are over here behind Charlie's Market. That's where the settling takes place. Uh, when they back flush uh, filters, that's, that water goes there. For 20 years, I guess, they've been filling up. And they're filling up so full now that the Division of Water's on our case about we're dumping water that's still fresh with chlorine back into the river. And that's supposed to, uh, that's a big no-no. So we've, we've, because the Division of Water forced our hand on it, We've had ESPR to come in and we cleaned the cattails out ourselves and hauled them off. But they've come in and they have been, been sucking that sediment out and taking it down to our lagoons and dumping it. Okay. And so we've got a bill now that we've incurred. So well, I'm not sure that we're finished with it, are we? We're not, finished. we're not finished with it. This is the first part of it. And the bill that we've got is $26,880. How much? $26,880. Okay. It is, and it, it costs us uh, uh, about $2,200 a trip. What they do? They go in and, and they vacuum it and suck it up into a big tank, tank truck, and then they haul it down there and then dump it out of that. Uh, we talked about trying to maybe dig it out ourselves with a excavator, but there's pipes in there, and when they did it before, pipes were hung by a company that was doing it and those pipes the reason we're in the shape we're in now when they uh, hit the pipes they broke several of them and they was never repaired in the past so they never will drink they won't drain so all the mud sediment stays in the ponds but there's actually a, a drain valve we're supposed to be able to clean them out ourselves so what we're hoping is we get down low enough where we can repair those pipes back to the way they're supposed to function but anyway, and we're not finished with it 
Yeah, it's, what, is it half done? It's about half done. He's almost done with one pond. Then he'll be uh, working on the second pond. Okay. But the division of water was on our case, and they were... So it was going to be done. Man so I guess my question is, how often will we have to do this again? Well, if we get the valves fixed, we shouldn't have to do it again. I mean, this has been 20 years yeah. in the getting in this situation, so we're paying for it now. So I bring to you a bill, $26,880 to ESPR. Who hired ESPR? Well, they were about the only ones around that could do what we needed done. They, they have a suction. It's just like they clean out a septic tank. But uh, it's much bigger, much heavier duty, which they have to have for the... We didn't advertise it or anything like that because they were so close and handy. They offered us a discount too. For they offered us a discount, he says, so... How much it was? About $50 a trip. About what? $50 a trip. $10? $50. 50, 50. 50. Well, we've, we've, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've done, tw they've done 12 trips. The work's been done. Yeah, so it's, it's got to be paid. I mean, yeah. I make the motion. All right. Second. Second. Any more discussion? What, uh, general, I guess? Break. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, he can't come out of. Mm. It's part of our infra water well, water infrastructure. My question is, how much was that bill? Because we've only twenty six eight eighty. We've only got twenty in there. Sewer. I'm but it's part of our infrastructure, so you can take it out of occupational if you want to. Or we've got enough in the general fund to handle it. <laughs> what do you say? Occupational tax. Occupational tax? Yes, sir. Okay. So the motion is to pay for occupational tax. Yeah. But this is not completed on that one lagoon, though, right? No, it's not completed. Where will it be coming on that? Uh, when were they going to start again on it? Uh, they were should turn the rains over and stuff. They said turn about a week and they'll have the other lagoon fixed. Okay. About a week and they'll have the other lagoon fixed, he said. Will this put you compliant with Division of Water? Yes. And I, when I talked to the Division of Water, they also told me that we wouldn't be able to dig it out with the Long Reach excavator because we would have to get permits and see about land farming. We couldn't take it down there to the lagoons that so way. If we hauled it with the truck, with the suction truck, we can actually dispose of it. That saves a lot of money that way. So you have a first? Yeah, I mean, motion. Need a second. Second. All in favor? Okay. Uh, motion's carried here. All right, uh, next item is the event coordinator. So you want to discuss the event yeah, coordinator? Yeah, I've talked to some of the council members already a little bit. I'd like to start that up again. Um, and I've got with Lisa and I've got all the paperwork that was written up in the past. But I want to attach that too with the economic side of things and develop an economic director's role as well as the event coordinator. Um, basically, it'll be like what we had with uh, the last one, mm -hmm. and I want them to, whoever this individual might be, I want them to do, come in and do quarterly reports on the economic side of things and what their plans are for the events that we might have within the city. So that's what I'd like. I'd like to start the, uh, I would like to make a motion that we uh, start the uh, advertising for a uh, Event slash economic development director. Is that what you're calling it? Or are you no, calling wait it a minute. Whether they going to be the director of? It, well, 
Well, I don't want to call it a director's role. It just it was the community coordinator. Right? Community coordinator would be would be better. Yes, it's exactly. Yeah. So that that that'll be better. Okay, I can buy that. That way, because I still want to have that person on the economic side that work with us. Uh, yes, exactly. Go out there and try to get some business drawn in here. So. I'll say. Okay, uh, anything about pay or anything like that? Well, to keep it to keep it uh, like we had it, I'd like to keep it like we had in the past, because um, it's a very uh, important role, and I think it, we should keep it like it was in the past. Minimum hours and all that. Yep. The yeah, hourly up to a certain number of hours a month. Yes, I think uh, okay. that's all in that paperwork that you Here that tears drawn right. up, and we'll explain that to to these individuals who ever apply. So, any more discussion? And I'd like to get that advertised probably next week if we could. And I'll get. I'll, I'll sit. make the motion. I'll second it. Okay. Thank you, Mary Bell. I love you. All right. Uh, you know, I know you do. <laughs> Any other discussion? <laughs> all right. All in favor? Okay. Motion carried. Um, we've discussed the small tank problems. The water plant. Uh, well, yeah, we we did. The uh, water plant has come with two requests. Um, we talked about one of them at the last meeting. Um, we don't have a, a good idea for some of our valves, some of our parts are. You know, we don't have a very good idea. We've got some in the backyard, some people's homes. That, uh, Markers have disappeared, and we don't have a slice idea There's where some that. that people run over mowers, tractors, bush hogs, and uh, grass growed over them. And a lot of them got lost and misplaced. Over what? People that didn't know where they was had retired and moved on. Okay. Um, Mayor Bill wants to know what you're talking about. Do what now? What are you talking about? <laughs> Things in people's yards? Well, water lines just run everywhere and there are valves uh, there's the one that in particular they just mentioned here recently was uh, runs over in your neck of the woods it runs from uh, 1543 over to Cavanaugh Lane through a backyard and we used to have a valve locator there but they've taken it down and mowed over it or whatever and, and we so we've got a valve there but we don't know exactly where it is yes. and so what we're what they're coming uh, to us with is there's a device called a geo which they can just set it over every valve in the city and it'll map put it on a map the location that they that they mark and so we're hoping to eventually get all the vital controls, valves, anything that's of importance. Uh, what fire hydrants, things like that. It'll be an infrastructure just, blueprint, essentially. They can do this thing it'll within. It'll upload up to the computer. We can constantly update it. We can pull it up on their phones. Also, like as far as 811s, when we go out and mark lines, right now where you're doing the old method of weeching, is a Nelson rod that you take and locate lines. That's kind of give or hit or miss whether it's accurate or not. So if we have this and it marks the valves and it makes a coordinates across between them, it will be within four inches of the line. Would be a lot more accurate if someone does rip into one of our lines. That way, we cover our sales. Can I see that, Mayor? It's got the price on the back of it here. Let me ask a question. Okay. Buy one of these lines. Who's putting these lines? Majority. 
And the landowner tears it up, shouldn't they pay for it? Well, it's just a marker is all it is. That's, that's the only thing that's missing. The valve is still there. Flag on top of it, or yeah, that won't last any time at all. People just don't want the stuff sticking up in their yard. They won't be able to mow and mow right over everything. I can give an on that. We actually have a water leak on Southern Avenue, back behind the IDA shopping center there. It's one up here, of course, you can hear. Uh -uh. Uh, a prime example of this is on Southern Avenue, back behind Spink Shopping Center. We have a water leak on that street. We've actually done 811 on it. They come down there, they mark, there's ac &T lines, there's gas lines. Well, I went down through there yesterday to check it, and someone pulled every one of the markers off and just laid them in a bundle to the side. So, we'll have to redo a whole nother budget ticket on that, but... But that's a prime example. Like say, we're trying to mark one of our water lines. Someone moves the flags. You know, it can be. Is there something that can be done to make them perfect? Uh, say that again. They can more than mark them down. Hello. Oh, what did you say again? <laughs> I, I still say it. If we're trying to do that for the citizens of the city. Yes. And to keep their water lines straight. And if they keep tearing them up, then they need to be responsible for some of it. Yes. Well, some of it's their own, is their own neglect. A lot of times, valves was uh, left unattended. No one ever went back to check them. They got covered up with grass, covered <coughs> off the side of the road. I mean, it's not all just residents t tearing up stuff and moving markers. Some of it's it just got covered up with erosion, dirt, gravel, grit, and we don't know where they're at. You think that just got covered up and we missed eight or ten of them? Oh, there's probably closer to a hundred of them that's missing right now. We've blacktopped over some. There, there, I, I have personally dug up about five in the last month that's been blacktopped over. And some of this goes even back to where we had the low water pressure issue the other day. Yes. Because we've actually shut them lines off before and never had a problem with pressure issues before. So apparently there's a valve stuck or shut off somewhere. Could have got done during when they done some of the line extensions here a few years back. We actually found one valve that was off, but uh, we could have went around we can pull this map up. We knew exactly where each valve was. We wouldn't been guessing or trying to figure out where, where they was. Spending days out here with uh, metal detectors trying to find the tops. And I don't have a problem with that piece of equipment. I really don't. Yes. It irritates me that this city will not hold people accountable for things. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, well, that's another fight, another day. <laughs> and I, I, I'm not at my bed today. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, I'm not opposed to this. Okay. Really not. <clears throat> well, I'll make a motion we buy one of them doodads. Okay, no. Second. I'll take some. All right. Any more discussion? All Can we favor? take it out of water? Yeah. So you have an amount. Yes. Four thousand. It's right there. How much is it? All right, I'll look it up. Huh? I'll look it up. I'll go. <laughs> <On> here. <laughs> Four thousand nine hundred seventy dollars. Yeah. Okay. Zero cents. Some water. Yeah. That's fine. Um. We've also got one other request. Uh, one of our four-inch pumps. We've had to use it quite a bit. Yes. We've been, you know, we've got two. We bought one for a spare. We've been using that, using it like crazy. And the other one, um, since the intake is silted up, we've been using having to use them quite a lot. We're, one of them. 
needs a bunch of repairs. Um, you want to talk about it? What what happened to it? Or uh, yes, uh, we actually have been using it quite often. We try to keep up all the maintenance on it. We we do oil changes on as needed. Uh, but if, if when they run continuously around the clock, you know they tend to wear out quicker. Uh, the seal on the actual pump has actually wore out on it, so it's not causing a suction now. So it, it runs, but it won't pump. But we've got a quote on the repair for that pump because if our other one goes down, we have to get a rental pump. That that costs us like eleven hundred, eleven or twelve hundred dollars a week to rent one. That's why we bought the second. Oh, is, it, uh, is that that much now? Okay. So I. I I'm fine with it. How much is the price on that? Uh, 35 dollars oh. <laughs> Everything with a 4-inch pump is expensive. But here's where I'm at. I want to get the Corp of Engineers out there. Mm -hmm. what, discuss what we talked about. Yes. Getting that all back out. Yes. Getting the old system back up. Yes. Because this is costing us a lot of money daily in fuel. Mm -hmm. And so I would like to see that. Especially with the fuel prices where yeah, they're going. So I want to see this project. I want to see mm -hmm. if we can get a hold of the corporate engineers to dig back mm -hmm. like we talked about. Yes. Or even that. make, uh, we've even talked with the same company before about even doing a different kind of intake that we yeah. could hook in there. It would actually be floating off the top. We'd have a better quality of water. Less sediment? Yeah, less sediment. So I want to, I don't care to do this now, mm -hmm. but I want to see if we yes. can get something going on because that's a that's, that's a lot of money mm -hmm. right there but the Corps of Engineers would restrict it so so floating out in the water have we asked them? on the river uh, have we asked them? We, we know that they would uh, they've talked to them and they don't have a lot of time football yeah but we still gotta go through them though but I just uh, but I agree I agree wholeheartedly with what you're saying but I, I think that we don't need to hold up on anything we can go no I agree with that but I think okay. I think that we just need to look at yes. it see the feasibility on it too and I've actually, got, the I've actually got quotes on the floating intakes too and but we'd have to get it approved through the court. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the amount of this repair bill was will be three thousand five hundred twelve dollars and forty one cents. Motion. Motion. I do that. I like the motion with that. She done the motion. All right. Second. Yes, All right. Any discussion? All in favor? Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, that's the last item. I've got uh, information about the Gillespie Street project. We finally got it okayed by the Division of Water. Uh, it should be in next week's paper asking for bids on it. You know, putting in that 8 inch line. We had to get a uh, Oh, Department of Transportation, we had to sign a paper for them about uh, crossing 1543, our lines on the other side of where we need it to be. So anyway, everything has been taken care of and it should be in the paper for bids next week to do the Glassbury Street project. Okay. Um, anybody have anything you want to bring up? What about our wastewater thing? We still running higher than the beef net. We're running. Yeah, thirty-one thousand beef net. That beef net thirty thousand. Do we ever get that monitor working? That meter? I thought we'd put that in. Yeah, so well, it was supposed to just monitor what. Uh, do what? I said the monitor is fully not functioning correctly. Yeah, that's been yeah, kind of a... More supposed to be figuring out what, what the deal is with it. A lot of it, too, if it get, we get a really high flow, anything that goes over that read, over the measurement, I, it won't read it. 
So it, a lot of it's the size of the pipe going to it. If it goes over it, it won't breathe. Yeah, but what he's commenting about was that our usage is more than beaver dams, and it doesn't make sense. You but know. that's what that thing is supposed to kind of help make, see what we're doing yeah. is if we're well, reading the readings. It's just monitor, make sure what we were reading was what they were reading at the okay. regional. Right. Yeah, I thought because that end going to save us a bunch of money, or a little bit. Calibrating that thing has. I don't know why they can calibrate it, you know, he's, yeah, it's been, there's been a disappointment. Anything else? Jeff, you got anything for us? I can give you my monthly report right now, if you like. You came back a lot of high grass, didn't you? And I know. Still some out there, too. The, uh, the ones highlighted in green are the ones that currently have citations out. Uh, it's on Mulberry Street, high grass and weeds. Uh, Clay Street there, there's a old truck in the front yard. And then uh, the three at the bottom citations went out today for uh, trash and rubbish there. Uh, Where's Scott Loop? Scott Loop, that's uh, the trailer park on it's now 15, West Union. yeah, 315 West Union yeah. Street now. So address change there, but yeah, uh, there's three three residents. And I got that. The, the uh, residents. Does the, the post water. office recognize Scott Loop, or I guess they do. Well, uh, it's on the PVA <laughs> website as Scott Loop. Who named it Scott Loop? I'm just curious. Uh, I would say probably some of the Lewises. That's never mind. He's the owner. <laughs> He's the owner. Uh, but uh, the big one there is the reoccurring uh, Mr. Jones there on Mulberry Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is his second second time, second go around, and it's every summer. Uh, Have has he mm. has he mowed since you gave him the citation? Uh, no. So the, the city the city went down there okay. during I, I think the hot rods and and hoses and kind of knocked down the worst of it there. And did we put a lien on for that work? I don't think so. Because uh, that was after a citation had been issued. No, that was before a citation was issued. So it's it's still high. Okay. Uh, I think they just did it for a safety reason because the corner, it's there on a the corner light and you see by the street, you know, whenever you go in there for the stop sign. So we just need to make sure you coordinate when you issue your citations to follow up. If they don't, if they don't comply, then the city at that point, the mayor can issue yep. that and be cleaned up and we can do it. Yeah. Uh, so his citation went out on the 25th. So okay. it's seven days. Uh, Whenever we mail it, we, Lisa and I kind of agreed to give a three-day mailing grace period there. So uh, we kind of go back 10 days, I'll go back, and if there's still no citation, then, then that we can move forward with the city going down there. Uh, I know the last time he come in and paid his $10 fine, it was a $10 fine. Uh, and Well, even if they pay the fine but they don't do it, the city can still abate, abate the ordinance and still yeah. have a lien for any and all amounts. Yeah, and that's where we're at again. This okay. is why his second, second go around. But uh, most of them you see uh, some of the trash, is, most of the trash and stuff has been picked up and put out there. Uh, some of them has been mowed. Uh, but those, those five are the ones that are outstanding right now. Well, I think we ought to raise the fine. Okay. I can bring the ordinance to the next meeting. Y'all can discuss it. Right. Yeah, I think the last one. Well, some people just send pay ten dollars to mow their yard. Well, they still have to. 
Yeah. They no. just got a fine on top of it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think the last ordinance I have is tracking is like in 2018, right? Is that there was some high grass up on uh, And I have a watch list too, so I, I kind of... Yeah. It's up next to Bird Brass. It's up there close to the park. Uh, oh, I can't think what that street is. Smith Street's on. Smith Street. That's Smith. That's Smith Street. Is it the Travis? Is it the lot in between the houses? Yeah. Yeah. Travis Wilson owns that lot. Yeah. yeah so I got him on my. Okay. Yeah. And then I got a complaint about a house over here on Mulberry. Yeah, that's, that's an ongoing issue. Though. Yeah. Is it the Babbitt residence? Yeah. It's all up she said, the next block up. The lady from, said that you the talked, next, to her, talked to her about before the neighbor did. Yeah. By that corner house. But it's the next block up from Jones's. It's the next block up. Okay. On Is the it same across side. from the uh, museum? Yeah. museum? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Babbitt, yeah. What is our ordinance on the burn your garbage in the backyard? Uh, Do what now? We have garbage put up in the city, so get out. <laughs> yeah. We, we got people burning on Frederica. And at a White House, we have a lien on a couple yeah. of years ago. Well, they moved in, and I, my understanding, they was burning garbage stuff two nights ago. We just have to let the EPA know about it. Well, yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be this gentleman right over here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Uh, on People burning street. garbage. Yeah, burning trash. Oh, yeah, I'm all for that. <laughs> what about burning about trees, Paul? <laughs> what about burning trees? Natural vegetation, that's legal. <laughs> so there, uh, you can burn paper and paper products. You can, you can burn natural vegetation, but you cannot burn grass or wood chipping species. Uh, uh, small so there's, there's a house on the street. Uh, close to Oakwood, Burn Drive, up there by the point. Uh, you know where the Desmond live? Okay. But the where Jerry Sprouting's wife live, the people next door burn their trash in the backyard too. Where the trucks in the front yard? Uh, uh, yeah, where the trucks in the front yard. Uh, uh, Some people just don't leave the yeah. citizens of heart. Uh, okay. Well, we'll schedule it. We'll do it date day. <laughs> I need to get the report to Jeff to call my office and schedule a time to make it work. Because some things we have to ask them, and I think I'll answer some of those. All right. Uh, <laughs> but he and I were going to have to do it off. Yeah, yeah. Two months before we're Yeah, so we never got to. Okay. Uh, next time of business is, um, I guess, mine. I'm resigning as mayor of the city of Hartford tonight, uh, effective the end of this month. And so uh, you're going to need to do two things. In other words, one is we've got to do the check signers. We've got to redo that. And second, you've got to have uh, a temporary mayor until the next council meeting, uh, somebody to serve as temporary mayor till the meeting when you can elect them uh, officially. Right. You can go ahead. Since we have a date and we know our next meeting date, you can go ahead and appoint someone to take effect as mayor to finish your term. Okay. Effective next meeting. They can go ahead and vote on that. If all like. right. So we just need a motion, first of all, to um, elect somebody as the mayor to take over in my place. What's, can you read your letter? Oh, to whom it may concern, I hereby resign from the office of mayor of the city of Hartford, effective 31st day of July 2022. Respectfully submitted, me. So, um, those of you who've been through this before, you, you understand the process. But since the effective date isn't until, it won't be effective actually until our next meeting, which is at the end of August, and because we're within three months of the election, as well as the fact that, well, it's going to be both, but next takes effect January 1. Um, whoever you all appoint as a council, they would take effect of, as mayor to finish out George's term at the next council meeting. And then Lisa will need to tender both the resignation and the appointment to Secretary of State and the County Clerk. 
Well, I make the motion that the election is set in that sense. That bill be appointed the temporary mayor until close of the election and the associated date for his permanent position. Is there a second to that? All right, take your pick. Any discussion? All in favor? You can't right. vote. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I will say this, George. It's been an honor. Um, you're going to be greatly missed. Um, well, thank you. So thank you for what you've done. No, over you're going to make me cry. So let's. <laughs> <laughs> so it has been an honor. Fourteen years. Is that right? Yeah, I've given 14 this time. I had a couple years before that, back when we built the water plant, I was on the council then. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so I've got. Uh, He's gonna go to Disney World. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mickey, I will do some of the responsibilities that I've kind of been shirking since uh, I've been in the office. Do what? Your honeydew list. You said? No, it's. Uh, some other issues, some other jobs, and I've taken over some new responsibilities, things like that. Street, so, other oh, words, you're street. getting there. Huh? Yeah. Across the street, yeah, that's yeah. part of it. Yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we need a. We've got a motion to. Since Patty is gone, and we've hired Heather Marlowe, and since I'm going to be gone, and Bo is going to be the. Acting as the mayor, uh, we've got to have. Um, yeah, he needs to do that too. Well, you can, but I, this kind of effectively did that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you've been okay. elevated. Effectively. Okay. Just give it to Jerry. We need four check signers, and it's normally been uh, the one in Patty's office. And Lisa and the mayor, and then one council member, and uh, Jerry's. I got funding center checks. You've been, you're on the check signing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like I never signed. Okay. Lisa forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to. Add her name to that then. It's on there. Oh, it is? Uh -huh. I went and put it in there. Okay. Do you mind to make that motion? No, I don't mind. The, the, the bank has a certain way that they need they need a list of all the names going on and all the names coming off, and so I thought it was easier if I just kind of rub it out. Okay, I would like to make a motion to change the bank signature cards for police drug fund to include Brent Lindsay and Mayor Bo Wright and remove George Chin. Also to change all other bank accounts to include Mayor Bo Wright, Jerry Likens, Lisa Martin, Heather Marlowe, and remove Patty Baby and George Chin and give permission to Heather Marlowe and Rachel Reynolds to submit ACH Transactions. You don't, you don't have Maribel in there. Yeah, I can remember. No, you didn't read Maribel's name. He did? He didn't. He missed it. He, he, he missed it. Yeah, it, it was in there really big, and I still skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't in there, is it? No, we'll add it in there. If you're okay to add, change your motion. I changed my motion and add Mary Bell. There you go. <laughs> second. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? All right. Motion's carried. Okay. You're on. <laughs> I thought you were going to make a motion to adjourn. A motion. Second. <laughs> All in favor? I want to thank you all. I appreciate everyone.